McDonald's announced today that Wade High School's Natasha Howard is one of six finalists to be this year's National Player of the Year. Howard's averaging over 25 points and 11 rebounds for the Indians. She's already been all Ohio twice in her career. She'll be playing for a top 10 team at Florida State next year. The winner of the Player of the Year will be announced on March 10th. And Howard's basketball career is still going strong. City League Title I, a potential City League Championship rematch with Start, but first things first, got to take care of Northview. Northview's pretty solid, and they have some distractions in the stands, too. Dancing with the Stars, not really. Dancing didn't distract Waite, though, in the early going. Howard, off the inbounds pass, Waite up 7-2, but Northview, boy, did they respond. Caitlin McCoy with a putback. 19-15 cats in the second quarter. Then Olivia Foudy takes it right at Howard. Strong. She had 21 points and she's pumped up. Cats led at the half. Amazing. But wait, would eventually pull away, but not before getting a stiff test from the Cats. Howard at 26 and Wait survives. The score is deceiving. 58 to 46. It was a good team, so like it was kind of hard. And like in the second quarter, I thought I thought we probably was gonna like get back in the game. But in halftime, we we went in the locker room. This is sort of what they had to say. Then third quarter got here, we had to buck it on on our defense like we supposed to. So way to advances could start win and set up that city league rematch. Spartans had to beat Southview to get that done. They were up ten, but then up one after that aerial Gaston. Three, capping off a 9-0 run, but that's as close as it would get. Malika Kennard providing some separation. Spartans up three, and Kennard plenty of games. So, too, does Sharon Sweeney. She has plenty of game and no fear at all. Spartans win 61-52 to set up a City League rematch with Waite and head coach Manny May. Well, that, that'd be a great matchup again, you know, the Thriller in Manila, like uh, Ali and Frazier. So, you know, it, it's going to be a drag-out, knock-down fight. So the winner, winner gets the covenant prize and going to the regionals. Like Ali and Frazier, got to love that. Fantastic game between Perrysburg and Finley. And check out Perrysburg's Emily Trees, the baseline drive for two. Jackets up by double digits, but then Finley, that's when they started roaring back. Five-point deficit, now a three-pointer. Foul called to Nicole Dellis, free throws made. Lee cut down to two. Megan Lammers for the win over Dellis. This time no foul called, and Perrysburg hangs on. They advance. Turning to Division Three, where Northwest Ohio has been strong this year. Liberty Benton, they're unbeaten. Ottawa Hills, they only have two losses. But in the postseason, you know how it goes. Throw those records out the window, it's win or go home. Aaron Kraft in the middle of the fans there because he's there to support his sister Katie for two points of many. Ottawa Hills, their turn. Good news, bad news for Lauren Abendroth. She misses and puts it back. That's the good news. The bad news is you got to get back on D. Amanda Hyde, she shoots and scores. Hyde and Kraft combined for 48 of the Eagles' 60 points. Liberty Benton stays perfect with a 60-38 win. So who's up next for them? Either unbeaten Lake or Otsego. For Lake, one of the big reasons why they're perfect, Casey Brittenham. Flyers up 11, but Otsego put up a fight. Bailey Burnthis will cut the lead down to six points, but just too much Brittenham, too much Lake. Flyers win 43-27. College ball, the women's MAC tournament bracket's all set, while the men, well, most of it gets determined tonight. Toledo came in already knowing they're the 12 seed, but for Bowling Green, it's a different story. Win and BG gets a 9 seed, lose, and the Falcons are 10th. Conference tournament starts this Sunday with on-campus games. No matter what, Falcons will be on the road while they're the 10 seed after losing 82-60 to Ohio. Falcons will be playing at Western Michigan on Sunday. Meanwhile, Toledo came so close to putting together a winning streak. By close, I mean they led, led until the very last second when Northern Illinois made a bucket to win the game. Heartbreaker, but again, it doesn't change a thing. MAC tournament starts on Sunday. Finally, there are reports that the agent of Zadrunas Ilgauskas has sent an email to reporters saying that the Big Z's made up his mind to come back to Cleveland. That's at Hardcore Sports. We'll be right back.